I'm back guys, this is Brian Lewis Quintanilla, um, an awardy servant of Jesus Christ, I'm just a profitable servant and I, I'm Satan's enemy. So back to what I was saying, who's another group of people Jesus can say I never knew you? Oh, the Catholics. So you know, we're, in, we're still in Matthew 7, 21, and do the Catholics do the will of the Father? No, they don't. We're going to see why. They call Jesus Mary. Now, I'm not trying to mix anything, uh, but, you know, nowhere in Scripture can we find that Jesus or even his disciples call Mary Mother. Nowhere. So, let's go to verse 22 again. Many will say unto me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. Works. What is works? Getting baptized in the waters. This is how the Catholics are going to tell, um, unfortunately, some of them that I know, they trust in their works. I ask many of them, why, why are, uh, where are you going to go when you die? They say heaven and I ask them why. Um, because I go to Mass every Sunday, because I'm a good person, I pay my tithes to my priest, I confess, I go to confession twice a week. What well, my Catholic friend, if you're seeing this video right now, unfortunately, my friend, you're part of a cult. Part of a sect, you know. I don't want to get too much deeper. I mean, I've been studying, I've been raised in the Catholic Church for a long time now, but I'm sorry to disappoint you, my Catholic friend. But, um, I mean, not all of them, there's different kinds of Catholics, you know. But, but let me tell you guys the ones who trust in their work, they're gonna say, Lord, Lord, have we not went to Mass in your name? And in your name, have we not went to confession? And in your name, have we not visit the sick? And in your name, have we not? Oh, excuse me. Have we not prayed to Mary in your name? And then, you know what Jesus is going to tell them? I never knew you. Why? They never trusted in Jesus. They trusted their priests and they trusted in Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary cannot hear your prayers, my Catholic friend. She cannot hear your prayers, hallelujah. She can't. She can't hear your prayers and now she's dead. And where she's at, I have no idea really if she went to heaven or she went to hell. I mean, I'm not the one who decides why. Because I'm not God. That's God's business. Where she went when when she passed away, that's that's um business of Jehovah. Not my business. Or God, you know, God has different names. You Jehovah, Elohim, whatever, you know, but um this is not the case. The case is does the Lord know you? That's my question to you, my friends. Because it's not about just going to church every Sunday, you know. Oh, yeah, that's, oh yeah, I forgot. The Catholics are going to say, Lord, Lord, have we not went to church in your name? And in your name, have we not, um, hallelujah, have we not feed the homeless? Because I used to volunteer in a, in a Catholic um, food bank. They were very nice people, but I wasn't born again yet. I, wa I was still in the world when I used to do that. It was like part of my program. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to do something for a different video, guys. But like my focusing here. Is that um, I was meditating a lot because uh, many people trust in their works, and that's not good. Like the Jehovah's Witnesses, oh, let me get them too. A lot of people are gonna be the bride and leave the Jehovah's Witnesses alone. No, they're lost, and they're gonna end up in the their Watchtower Society, send millions of people to hell. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, if you guys seeing this video, if you guys don't accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, if you guys keep calling Jesus that He's an angel, you guys are gonna burn in hell. Oh, yeah, you guys don't even believe there, but. You guys are still going to go. The Jehovah's Witnesses. Lord, Lord. Um, have we not passed out the Watchtower literature? And in your name, have we not got baptized it? And in your name, have we not, um, have we not gone and knock on people's doors? And in your name, have we not um, be part of the Watchtower Society? And in your name, have we not, um, have we not, um, have we not gone to the kingdom of hell? I don't, they, they, it's called Kingdom Hall, but I, I call it the Kingdom of Hell because they put off a coat. <laughs> and then Jesus is going to tell the, the Jehovah's Witnesses on the Day of Judgment, I never knew you, Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh yeah, they're not even Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't belong to Jehovah. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. That's what Jesus is going to tell to Charles, Charles Tuttle. You know, the person who invented Jehovah's Witnesses, the only reason to mention them, Jehovah's Witnesses, um, they believe... That you're saved by your works, they think, oh yeah, they, they think that only 144,000 people are going to go to heaven. But I would love to sit down with a Jehovah's Witness, dressed up, dressed professionally, 
and talk about and let's talk about the Bible. You know, you open your NWT and I open my King James. Deal? And the Mormons. I don't know too much about the Mormons. I'm going to study their book. I'm going to ask my sister if she could order me or if I see a Mormon, I'm going to ask them if they could give me a copy of the original Book of Mormon. A lot of people telling me not to get too much because I'm going to get confused, but how? If I had the Holy Spirit, of course I'm not going to get confused, you know? I just want to know what they believe, what contradictions does they have about the Bible. Of what I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it true that the Mormon, the Book of Mormon contradicts the Bible? I heard Joseph Smith, well, he basically called Jesus a liar. That's why he's in hell right now, burning. I'm sorry, Mormons. But you guys need to get out of the cold ASAP before you guys end up in the lake of fire. Jesus said, unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. Luke 13, 3. The Mormons believe in their works, too. Uh, the, the Mormons, the Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, but I call them the Church, oh no, I call it the Synagogue of Satan of Latter-day Demons. That's what I call them. Because that's what they are. Uh, the Mormons, they're going to say, Lord, Lord, have we not, um, they call Jesus Lord? The Jehovah's Witnesses actually called Jesus Jehovah. Which, yeah. I mean, nowhere in the Bible do we found Jesus calling the Father Jehovah. I mean, God has different names, you know. That's his Hebrew name or something that I don't know. Because some people call him Elohim, Adonai. But that's not the case, you know. Um, The Mormons, Lord, Lord. Have we not passed, the, passed out the Book of Mormon in your name? And in your name have we not um, baptized, get baptized at five times? And in your name have we not, um, what do the Mormons teach? Oh, they, they visit the sick in the hospital. Have we not visited the sick? Have we not, um, what do the Mormons do? Have we not smile at people in your name? Now, this is the problem. I met three preachers, you know, I don't like to bash anyone or nothing. I'm not going to mention names. Then I never see them smile at people when they go in and out and evangelize. I do. But smiles doesn't save you. Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons, the ones that I met, they used to smile at me when I was in the world. I used to think they were kind. I used to think that just being a nice person, no. Being a nice person does not save you, my friends. If the Mormons want to go to the kingdom of God, what you guys need to do, Mormon friends, you guys need to leave your coat, leave the... and dump your, your, your Book of Mormon in the garbage. That's where it belongs. Pull up Percy. Of course, I wanted to expose it, but after I finish exposing, it's probably going to end up in the treasure. I'm probably going to end up ripping the pages one by one. And you can say, oh, bro, you have to respect people's religion. No. Paul never respected people's religion. Um, King Josiah never respected the uh, idols of Baal. I don't, you know, people are going to use Matthew 5 against me because I don't consider Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't. Jehovah's Witnesses, I don't consider them brothers and sisters. Oh, I think I went off topic. Because they don't consider Jesus God. And they don't believe in, 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 in the deity of Christ, hallelujah. That's why I don't consider them, I don't consider them brother, any person who doesn't recognize Jesus as, the, as God or the Son of God is not my brother or my sister in Christ. You're not my brother and you're not my sister. And if you deny the, gift, the nine gifts of the Holy Ghost, you're not my brother or my sister. You're not. So don't call me a brother. The black Hebrew Israelites. How about these folks? Are they saved? Does the Lord know them? The Mormons, they believe that people like me, people who are dark-skinned, are accursed, which is a life from hell. And, you know, let's go to Galatians chapter 1. Let's see what Galatians chapter 1 verse 8 says. Galatians chapter 1 verse 8. It says, But thou, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, for so I say now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than ye have received, let him be accursed. You are accursed. You know, the Mormons are accursed and the Jehovah's Witnesses are accursed because they preach a different Jesus. They don't preach the Jesus Christ of my Bible. No, they don't. That's a problem. It's a red flag, hallelujah. <clears throat> it's good. This is going to be good. And I know a lot of people are going to be... I can't go on live though, so pretty much I'm just recording by webcam on my phone. But no, guys, like... 
At first, I used to think that Jesus was talking to the Christians. Well, speaking in tongues. Oh, I'm talking to the one of the Pentecostals. Listen to me, uh, one of the Pentecostals. Baptism is a command from the Lord Jesus Christ, but it's not. It doesn't save you. You guys think that you guys condemn those who get baptized in Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and you guys think that you guys need to get baptized in Jesus' name alone, and um. And the only had the Holy Spirit, which is contradicts Ephesians one thirteen. Let's go to Ephesians one thirteen. What am I talking about? I don't know. You guys want to speak Bible? to speak Bible. I, I I love Pentecostals, but and that's good. If you guys speaking. I'm I'm not saying that all Pentecostals speak fake tongues. I mean I, I cannot tell you which tongues are fake, which tongues are. I rather be honest. You know I do not. But you know you cannot mock the Holy Spirit. It's dangerous. You know, the Holy Spirit can kill you, you know, for mocking him, hallelujah. Like, if we go to Acts chapter 5, you're going to know what I'm talking about. It says, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. You're sealed. The moment that you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. And let's check, um, oh, 2 Corinthians one twenty two, and, um, the reference note is taking me to John one seventeen. Let's go to first Cor 2 Corinthians one twenty two. Hallelujah. Let me see if it has something to do with the, ah! This is going to be good, hallelujah. Who have also sealed us. And given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Who are they talking about? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit dwells in you, my friends. And, um, yes. Um, he baptized you. He, um, and of course, um, but in, in most cases, some people, yeah, they do speak in tongues. I'm not denying the nine gifts of the Holy Ghost. That's a different video, too. But, like, the problem is, many Christians think they're saved. By works. They think they're saved because, you know, they have spiritual gifts. Because they have the gift of prophecy. They have the gift of discernment of spirits. They have. That's good. But you can't be bashing other Christians who don't have the gift of tongues. Or sending them, oh, they're going to go to hell. There's nine gifts in total, my friends. Nine. There's nine. And let's go to um, the book of John. Let's say what Brother John needs to tell us in um, John one seventeen. I don't know by heart. Sorry about that, guys. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth gave by Jesus Christ. There you go. There you go. So the I don't know why. And no, I'm not telling you don't get baptized at all. No, 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 no. The problem is you guys don't rely on the word of God. Re rely on, on the word of God. Don't rely on me. I'm just a vessel. I'm nothing. That's why I put my channel, Brian, unworthy servant of Jesus Christ. I'm unworthy. I'm worthy. That's it. I'm nothing but dust. This is going to disappear someday. This. So, my question is, if many people claim that baptism saves you, why are, gonna, why are they going to be the same people who are going to go to hell? Answer me that question. And I'm not against baptism. You, like, the problem is, many women with Pentecostals, they come to my Instagram and they blow up my DMs and say, Oh, you're a false prophet. You don't mercy. Like, I just end up laughing at your... Uh, like, you see how ridiculous you guys are accusing me of, of, of heresy. I preach Bible, bro. Like, come on, bro. The problem is, you don't know how to... Like, I don't care how long you've been in the gospel. Even people who have been Christians for 30 years, they're going to go to hell. Why? Because you guys trust in your own understanding. You guys don't trust in God. Like, um, you guys don't know, like, church and people just don't know how to divide the word of God. I used to believe baptism saves, but no, it's a command from the Lord Jesus Christ. However, I think that if you, like, let's say, for example, you've been a Christian for a year, and you haven't got water baptized, you're being rebellious against God. That's the problem. You're being rebellious. And you should get baptized if you can. Go find somebody, make sure. I'm going off topic in here, I know. Baptism is after salvation. Not before it. After. Because basically, 
Um. Um. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, the, the water didn't die for you. Jesus did. Only the grace of, of Christ. But of course. But let's say for like you know you guys know my dad has cancer. I'm not gonna tell you guys his name. Okay. Let's say for example my dad tonight he accepts Jesus Christ. No, no, I don't want to use an example. I'm going to use myself as an example. Let's say I'm a non-believer. I've been a sinner for almost my whole life. Let's say, for example, tonight I accept the Lord Jesus. I admit that I'm a sinner in need of a Savior, which I need to repent of my from belief, from unbelief to belief. I'm sorry about that. From a sinner to a saint. I have to repent, you know, of, of my sins, you know. Like, I have to repent, you know, of my fornication, of my adultery, of my homosexuality. I need to repent of my drunkenness. I need to repent of my... Of my um, etc. Change my mind. I need to give those away and follow Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The second, believe, believe that Jesus Christ is God, that He's your Lord, that He died for you on the cross, rose, uh, was buried, and rose again the third day, which is First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verses one through four. That's the gospel. And see, you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And thou shalt be saved. Okay, let's say for example today, I accepted. Um, of course, I cannot make Jesus my Lord because He's already my Lord. But let's say for example, I decided to give my life to Christ today. Let's say today, I'm a Christian. Tomorrow, um, I go out to go buy. I go to Numero Uno or Smart Fine or whatever to go buy some conchitas or pan con café. Hallelujah. And um, a car, boom, strikes me over. And I die. I can't make it to the hospital in time. Am I going to go to hell for not getting baptized it? Am I, yes or no? Am I going to go to hell for not being baptized it in waters? For not, let's say I only believe in Jesus. And according to Romans 10, 9, 10, you're saved. But no, I'm not telling you, again, I'm not telling you, you don't get baptized at all. No, get baptized if you can. Because you no, you can't baptize yourself. You can't. Nobody in the Bible baptized themselves, bro. You have to find somebody who's filled with the Holy Ghost, somebody who keeps the commandment of Jesus Christ, and walks into being in some churches. They're gonna require you to be a member or something like that. And um, like the problem is you guys trust in your works. Same with fellowship. Going to church doesn't save you. Many Christians are going to be, oh Lord, have we not got baptized in your name? And in your name, we have sing praises. And in your name, I was the leader, I was the youth pastor, hallelujah. And in your name, Lord, um, I feed the homeless, um, I rescue the orphans. And But if you're living a life of sin, like listen, it, there's no such thing as a cousin Christian. If you, if you if, on Sunday morning, if you go... Let's say me. If I if I say hallelujah, or I say, or I say, walk and wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let's say I sing that today at church, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I curse, I gossip, I lie. What am I? I am a hypocrite. And you know what she's going to tell me? Brian, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. That was, that was Jesus going to tell me. Because, you know, I cannot expect go to heaven and continue cursing, continue to um, have sex outside of marriage. I can't do that, hallelujah. I can't. G Grace. It's not a license to sin, folks. If you go to a liberal church and they teach you that you could sleep with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you're still going to go to heaven, that pastor's a liar. And I rebuke that pastor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're watching me, pastor, I rebuke him in the mighty name of Jesus. For teaching that life from the pits of hell. That you could you could continue to live in sin, live like the devil, and still go to heaven. You're a liar. You're a liar. And I rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus that you're not my brother at all. And I don't even consider you a pastor at all because a real pastor cares about his sheep. A real pastor um, looks out for his sheep. Hallelujah. And um, just don't trust in your words. Remember, we are saved by grace through faith. It's not of ourselves. We cannot save ourselves. Only Jesus did it for us. 
And lastly, I want to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you unto you the gospel which I, I preach unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye believe in vain. For I deliver unto you first of all which I also receive, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So with that being said, folks, that what saves you. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming back very soon. You know, if you're a lukewarm Christian, you're watching this video right now, get on your knees, ask God for forgiveness, cry out to Him. Today is the day of salvation. You do not want to hear those words from Jesus Christ, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Or Matthew 25, 41, you depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire with the devil and his angels. You don't want to hear those words on the day of judgment day, folks. You don't. I mean, I could feed the homeless. But if I'm living a life of hate, if I have pride in my heart, if I have, um, if I'm living in secret sins, it doesn't, though my works are dead. They don't mean nothing to God at all. God's not gonna, God's not gonna say, oh, bravo, Brian, congratulations. No. God's not blind. You know? He won't let sin into his kingdom. He won't let sin into his kingdom. You know, this is why we need to confess. Like, and, um, lastly, I say lastly already. Let me go to 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. No. Grace is not a license to sin. Please read the Bible, folks, and stop relying on me. Hallelujah. Are you serious? Or... Oh, sh shoot. Shoot's not a bad word. I hope, I'm, I hope it's not. If we confess our sins, we, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all our righteousness. That's on 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If you sin, make sure you confess it. Don't hide it. Ask God for forgiveness daily. Not just, not just one time, daily. Because I've sinned too, you know. I'm not part of my sins, to be honest. I hate my sins. So, with that being said, guys, I hope this message, you know, was, uh, I hope I made it clear about this message. And, um, thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for this message that you put in my heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, may everybody get edified, as many people as possible, for Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Almighty. I ask it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So you guys have a great night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Have a blessed night.